Hey everyone, this is Nick for Weekly Gaming Recap, bringing you the review of the Ace Combat Assault Horizon demo. Alright, uh, as you'll see here, we'll go into the settings and you get a choice of flight assist, you can set your controls, you can set your screen brightness, um, nothing else though, no sound, no language, uh, it's pretty locked, it's not really what we like to see, I know it's only a demo, but it'd still be nice to configure some of those options. So here I'm going to go into the fighter mission part of the demo, it's got two parts, the fighter mission which is the plane, and then the helicopter mission. Fighter mission starts out with this little intro of your pilot. You'll find out that you're actually flying over Miami, which is a uh, pretty badass. And we'll go into fast forward here to get to the good stuff. All right, this is what everybody was freaking out about when they first showed Assault Horizon. Uh, you'll see that when you go into the dogfighting mode, which zooms in the camera it's kind of a third person plain view you know your plane takes up a lot of the screen um, it does lock you on to your target for the most part when you're using the normal controls like I am here um, if you use the expert controls you'll get a lot more freedom of movement but you know with the normal controls it's good so you can just jump in uh, have fun shoot at your target not really have to worry about too much um, it'll keep you locked on until uh, you blow them up, which I'm going to do right about there. And now, if we'll uh, fast forward again, now you'll see you can actually go into the HUD display so you're in the cockpit. So, this is an option. I know it wasn't really talked about too much, um, and a lot of people were mad about it again, but it's uh, definitely awesome to play this way. So, we'll go ahead and find a bogey and we'll go into the dogfighting mode here in a second when you get that ring over your reticle you press the uh, triggers and there you are we're in dogfighting mode with the heads up display you know nice and zoomed in um, I think this is what people wanted it's definitely what I wanted uh, it's a lot of fun to play this way this is what you want in an action flight simulator game uh, lots of good explosions the graphics are great you know sounds really pumping so this definitely better than I expected after seeing the E3 demo I uh, hope this clears up some of the confusion now let's look at two of the cooler things from the demo first up we have the destructible environment which you'll see here in a second and there goes that crane flying right under it with my mad piloting skills next up you can get behind the bogey when you line up the green and the red arrow. And there we go, successful barrel roll. We're right on his tail. Now we can uh, close in. Next thing I want to show you guys is the multiple missiles. We got to get them all locked on. There we go, and missiles all away. Nice cutscene. Totally reminds me of Afterburner in the arcade, locking onto a bunch of bogeys and taking them out. So now that's it for the airplane part of the demo. We're going to move on to the helicopter now. All right, as you can see, we're in the helicopter part of the demo. It's just like when you're flying the aircraft. You start off in a cockpit, but later on I'll show you without the cockpit that takes up the majority of your screen. Right there you can do an evade maneuver to prevent you from getting hit by missiles. And uh, go ahead and take out a bunch of guys you will zoom in uh, you'll be using your chain gun a lot it's not like when you're flying a plane and you'll be switching between guns and missiles a whole lot you definitely use a lot of the chain gun this definitely has a lot more of the third person shooter mechanic going behind it where you'll be zooming in zooming out quickly with the triggers to lock onto targets uh, I found it was a lot harder to sight targets in manually um, doing a lot of scoping around just using the triggers was a lot easier but it definitely has that third person shooter feel like I said so let's uh, move out of the cockpit view here so we're out of the cockpit now you see the full screen no Apache blocking your view nice little cutscene there when you shoot off the rockets and blow up a bunch of guys and as you can see I'm just laying in with the chain gun 
on guys, jeeps, uh, APCs. Here, I'll shoot off a couple rockets, take out a bunch of guys, and more guys show up. And again, back to the chain gun. It's definitely a lot different than the aircraft. Breaks up the monotony. If you don't just want to fly aircraft in the full game, you're also going to be getting the AC-130, and you'll be able to be a Black Hawk gunner. This demo definitely helped us see what they were going for, and we really like it. It looks like it's going to be an exciting and wild ride. I can't wait for the October 11th release date to get our hands on the final game. And if you guys have the chance, go ahead and pick up the demo, see what it's all about. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. I know I was. This has been Nick with Weekly Gaming Recap, bringing you a review of the Ace Combat Assault Horizon demo. Check you guys later.